Hey, it's Florian again. Today I want to show you the third and final part of our student John's Surf transformation, which he achieved with the Surf Blueprint video course and the personalized video review that comes with it. In the first video, I showed you a clip from the initial video review that I did for John when he first used the course. And we saw that his racket drop really needed to be improved. John worked on his serve and later sent me this clip for a follow-up review. As we can see here, his racket drop had already significantly improved with the tip of the racket significantly lower and his arm in a much better position to generate power on the serve. To take things to the next level, I did another review for John and I pointed out two things specifically and fixing these two issues resulted in a major breakthrough for John and he ended up gaining a lot of speed on his serve which we'll see after the video review here. One thing I really want to point out here that I would like you to experiment with that's very easy is I think you're gripping the racket um, so that you're, you're not gripping it at the bottom. Essentially, your hand is up too high from what I can see here, okay? And uh, I do think that's costing you a little bit of racket head speed and, of course, reach as well. Um, so generally, what I recommend here is that the palm closes off with the end of the grip. Like You can take a look at Federer uh, in slow motion on YouTube. You'll see that. Or look at, look at me hitting the serve in the serve blueprint. And uh, I think your hand is up a little bit too high, and we can see that here as well. Take a look at this. Now, I know it's not 100% clear, but a little bit of the grip is kind of sticking out here, sticking up, okay? And, uh, yeah, I think that's a problem. I think that's easy to fix, and you should get quick results. Um, now, when looking at the serve, you know, a lot of things look good. You're, you're tossing into the court. Your body position at contact here is good. Um, the swing looks good. And yet, I still feel like from just listening to it, I feel like you're lacking some pop, okay? That there, there's not quite the pop there yet that you should have. The most critical element for that is the pre-stretch in the shoulder muscles here. And... Uh, and that's very much related to the racket drop. Now it's a little bit hard to show uh, here, but essentially when we look at your elbow here and your hand um, in this position, in the racket drop position, your hand is higher than your elbow, okay? And uh, the great servers, they will all get the hand to at least elbow level. Guys like Andy Roddick um, got it underneath elbow level, or, and, and there are many guys that get it underneath elbow level. I think if you look at my videos, you'll see that my hand in the racket drop is lower than my elbow. And what that does is it pre-stretches these muscles here more, stores more energy, and then you get more pop on your serve, okay? So that's something to work on, but at the same time, I do want to point out going deeper here in the racket drop, okay, is not necessarily healthier for your shoulder. It could actually be, um, it, it could be a problem for your shoulder if you are prone to having trouble with your shoulder. So players like, like Andy Roddick, you know, they're doing, they get into this ridiculous racket drop. They are, um, they do like 30 minutes at least of, of shoulder exercises every day. And we do have uh, a document called Keeping Your Shoulder Healthy in the Serve Blueprint. I know you're an OTI Plus. There's videos on that as well in the first month. Um, but if your shoulder is healthy and you want more pop on your serve, that's definitely what I would look at. The other thing that I cannot see here is how far is the racket aligned along the right edge of your body or are you still swinging up more from the left side because there are two elements to the racket drop one is how low is the tip of the racket the other one how at what angle is the racket to the body and the top players all get it aligned along the right edge of the body and then swing up from there you need to supinate in order to do that to get there and then again you're pre-stretching muscles that are later gonna uh, then result in more power on the serve. But I can't really see that here from this angle. So um, you can take a look at that from the back angle as well. But then, yeah, a lot of good things, uh, a lot of good things in place. You're pronating out here, which is good. I'm keeping your head still until after contact, which is also good. See, now you're looking down, but that's actually fine. It's not a problem because it's after contact. The ball is gone. Landing inside the court. A lot of good things uh, in place. All right, so much for this. 
John had actually recorded his John had actually measured his surf speed with a Sony Smart sensor in a session before this particular video review. As you can see here, on July 23rd, 2016, he hit 18 serves and his average ball speed was 58 miles per hour. John then adjusted his grip as suggested and also worked on improving his racket drop even further so that the tip of the racket is a little bit lower and the racket aligned a little more along the right side of the body. Here are some serves that John recorded on August 14th in 2016. 86 miles an hour, 76 miles an hour, 79 miles an hour. So now you know how effective online training with a personalized video review can be. But at the same time you may be thinking how can I send in a video for a personalized review and it may sound difficult to you. We're very excited that we now have our own OTI app with which you can easily record a video of your serve or any other stroke and upload it to us for a personalized review with just two clicks from inside the app. You could use a stand like Nadim is using here or you could easily just ask anybody who's around the tennis court to hold that camera for just a second to record your strokes. All of our technical online courses come with one personalized stroke review. So if you already own the Serve Blueprint or any of our other technical courses, you can download the app now through the links below this video and then you can record and send us a video of your stroke for a personalized review. Video reviews from OTI instructors are only available together with one of our technical online courses. So if you've never purchased one of our online courses but are interested to get started with a personalized video review, you can now send an email to james at onlinetennisinstruction.com and let him know which course you're interested in and we will give you a very good first-time buyer discount.